Well, it's Wednesday, so it's time for weather school. <laughs> it is. You know, interest in the weather often begins just with the pure curiosity of what we see in the sky. So let's talk about clouds. There's something inherently fascinating about just putting an eye to the sky and watching the clouds pass. Meteorologists have given names to the various cloud formations we get treated to. There are 10 basic groups of cloud types that are categorized by how high up above the surface they are. A lot of cloud types come back to two root words. Cumulus, a round, fluffy cloud that is individually defined, and stratus, a uniform sheet of clouds lacking individual definition. Both of these types of clouds are found in the lowest level, which is at an altitude less than 7,000 feet. Low clouds also include stratocumulus. Mid-level clouds are between 7,000 and 20,000 feet in the air. Clouds at this level are given the prefix alto, alto cumulus and alto stratus. High clouds are above 20,000 feet. Clouds at this level are made up of ice crystals, so they aren't as large or dark as clouds at lower levels. Cirrus clouds are thin and wispy. The prefix zero is used for all clouds that are at this level, zero cumulus and zero stratus. Nimbostratus is a gray uniform rain cloud that can be tall enough to extend into both low and mid levels. But a cumulonimbus, that is a thunderstorm cloud which can begin at low levels and reach high into the atmosphere. Cumulonimbus clouds can only rise until they hit the tropopause, then the top flattens like an anvil. There are 27 distinct classifications of clouds, but all of them fall into one of these 10 basic groups. So, when you see a cloud that looks like a bunny or a dragon, what you're looking at is simply a cumulus cloud. It's a little anticlimactic, but cool to know, right? <laughs> 